It's gotta be the shoes? How does he do that? It's gotta be the shoes, right? What up? Chicago Bulls, but I'm wearing a Boston Celtic jersey. What's up everyone? Bubba Chuck 14 and I'm back for the third video for 2018. And you know what three reminds me of? Three feet of the Chicago Bulls Michael Jordan, which is my favorite player of all time. And that's why most of my shoes are Michael Jordan Air Jordan shoes. So before I show off my whole collection, as usual, we're handing out digital codes for movie and today you got Eddie the Eagle starring you Jackman. So you got 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. With that out of the way, let's get to it. I'll show you my collection from the very first shoe that I've had until the most recent purchase. So the first one is the one that I just recently cleaned yesterday. So I haven't put the laces back in. Armari Jordan Future Lows. So it's kind of like the Jordan 11s. The soles are the same except for the top. It's a low top with a knitted, knitted upper. Very, very comfortable shoe. It's an awesome shoe. Next one up is the vi I never made an unboxing video about this because uh, during that time I didn't think of uh, doing YouTube videos, but I've got the Royal Blue Jordan 12s. Kobe Bryant wore this when he was with the Lakers. So that's Royal Blue. I always like having blues because. Ateneo man and shout out to all the YouTube Philippine official group Thank you for all those who subscribe and are following my watching my videos and after this one that's the time that When the Cleveland Cavaliers won their championship with LeBron James So during that time I didn't think the Cavs would win the championship so I said to myself, if the Cavs win, then I have to buy a LeBron shoe. And I didn't like LeBron when he left the Cavs for the Miami Heat. I really hated them for it because he started this whole super team thing. But when he went back to Cleveland, he won his first championship with Cleveland. And this is the shoe that he wore, LeBron Soldier 10. What I really love about this is there's no laces but the thing that sucks about the shoe is it's so hard to get on because it's so tight but it's a really good shoe. That's the LeBron Soldier 10 and of course I couldn't uh, buy, I couldn't pass on a shoe from the guy who made the last shot and made the championship for Cleveland. Kyrie Irving and that's why I'm also wearing a Boston uh, jersey because of Kyrie Irving and this is the shoe Kyrie 2 that he wore during that Cleveland Cavalier championship run so I made this with Nike ID I designed this by myself so all white with speckles of gold all over it gold strap silver Nike swoosh gold Kyrie Irving logo I made this to commemorate the Cleveland Cavalier championship and it's awesome because when you see this you have your own personalized and I showed this in the unboxing video I got my number 14s so that's CM Punk, that's my Kyrie 2's, then December 2016, the Space Jams came out. 
I might have said this before in my previous videos, but the Jordan 11s are my favorite Jordans of all time. So that's why I lined up for this. And pretty awesome shoe. I love this shoe. Still try to keep the soles icy as long as I can. But as you see, they're getting yellowed. So that's the Jordan 11. All black. Number 45. Navy blue Jumpman logo. Jumpman icon on the tongue. Space Jams. And after the Space Jams, my all black colorway shoe continue. I really like this colorway because it's all black. Air Jordan 13. Uh, Michael Jordan's shoe for the last championship run. So all black Jumpman logo everything and this one has this ref reflective upper so that when the light shines on it it has the reflection it's a pretty awesome shoe and my go-to shoe most of the time I always use this but so you see it's getting the soles are getting whatever so after that one the next one I got is the shoe that so everyone so divided. The Jordan 15s, they don't like the look of the shoe, but for me, I love it. It's so unique and it, I like it because you don't see the, it has a stealth lacing system where you can't see the laces and the shape, the shape is so unique. See the re if you saw my review, you'll know what I really like about these shoes. Jordan 15. After the 15s, I brought my wife her own Jordan 13s so we could go out twinning together. She got the red and white colorway. After that, I've got the UNC white colorways of the Jordan 11 Lowe's. Also one of my favorite shoes. So if you see the future Lowe's, they're almost like the same, except for the upper. I love this. That's why I brought my wife at the same time. We have the same shoe. Sometimes when we go out, we go out in blues. And after those Jordan 11 lows, we get to the championship pack. So this box contained two pairs of shoes. So celebrating the 1998 championship to Chicago Bulls. So the first one is the white and gold Jordan 13s. I really love this pair. And both of these shoes have them on the tongues. They can't win until we quit. It's pretty awesome. Really love these shoes. And the next one, also included in the box, is the Jordan 14. This one is the shoe that he wore when he made the last shot. So it says the same thing. They can't win until we quit. Really love it. It has this gold Ferrari logo gold in the bottom so you see it's getting scratched that's the only bummer about the shoe it's when you keep wearing them the gold's gonna scratch off black out 23 so that's the jordan 14 and after that we're almost done the most recent purchase i got this last year November I think so the Jordan Midnight Blue as I like to call it the Ateneo colorway at the same time that this this shoe came out the Ateneo Blue Eagles won the UAAP championship and then we got the last shoe that I've got a most recent purchase 
and I just used this this morning. The Air Jordan 11, Win Like 96, all red, Chicago Bull colorway. So that's my whole shoe lineup. I really love these 11s. I wish they wouldn't grow old. And if I could buy all the colorways, I would. Thank you guys for watching. So which Air Jordan is your favorite? Comment in the comment section below. And I hope to see you next time. And before I go out, got the last movie digital copy and it's X-Men Apocalypse so it's 10 seconds 10 9 8 and I'm planning to make a Q&A video for my next vlog I hope you post some questions down below, anything you want to ask me. Thank you guys again for watching. Click here to subscribe to my channel. And click here to watch my previous videos. Thank you once again. And I hope to see you next time. And as always, do it with style or don't do it at all.